And you want to take on the the, the next church that uh, we see that was uh, brought about just uh, the past century? Uh, yes, the Jehovah Witness. Okay. The Jehovah Witness. And I want to say before I start this, folks, that is the most confusing religion outside of the Mormons that I've ever run across. <laughs> they Amen. Confusing. In 1870, Charles Taze Russell and others formed, this is Jehovah Witness people, and formed other forms and an independent group to study the Bible. In 1876, Russell met Nelson H. Barber, and in the following year, the pair jointly produced the book Three Worlds, which, com <laughs> which combined restitutionist views with time and prophecy. In the book, they taught that God's dealings with mankind were divided dispensationally, dispensationally, and each ending with a harvest. That Christ had returned invisibly. A Woo! Good, like, <laughs> we're getting deep, man. We're getting deep, man. Amen. He's invisible now. We can't see him. Oh, yeah. Uh, invisibly as a spirit being in 1874, people. I'm glad they got these dates wrong. <laughs> inaugurating, <laughs> the inaugurating, I guess it was a type of inauguration, the harvest of the gospel age. And in 1914 would mark the end of a 2,520-year uh, two, period called the Gentile time. Beginning in 1878, they jointly edited a religious journal, Herald of the Morning. In June 1879, the two split. They jointly edited a, a religious journal, Herald of the Morning. In June 1879, the two split over doctrinal differences. And in July, Russell began publishing the mag magazine, Zion's Watchtower and Herald of Christ's Presence stating that its purpose was to demonstrate demonstrate the world was in the last days and that a new age of earthly and human restitution under the invisible reign of Christ was imminent. From 1879, Watchtower supporters gathered as anonymous congregations to study the Bible topically. 30 congregations were founded, and during 1879 and 1880, Russell visited each to teach the pattern pattern of meetings he recommended. Beginning in 1895, he encouraged congregation Bible study using his studies in the scriptures as a guide. His studies. In, in the 1880s, Russell combined printing facilities and a meeting house into a, a Allegiancy headquarters, Allegiancy or headquarters. He named the Bible House. In 1881, he founded Zion's Watchtower Tract Society, and in 1884, incorporated it as a nonprofit business entity to distribute tracts and Bibles. In 1894, he dismissed the idea of establishing the Watchtower Society as a visible organization believing that to do so would be out of harmony with God's plan. In 1889, Russell taught that the battle of the great day of God Almighty has already commenced and would accumulate with the overthrow of all political rulership. Political rulership. In 1914, at the end of the Gentile times, by 1897, believed that the end of the Gentile times in October 1914 would result in the overflow of all political and ecclesiastical rulership, followed by the full establishment of God's kingdom on earth. Russell died at age 64 during a speaking tour in late 1916. In January 1917, the Watchtower Society legal representation, Joseph Franklin Rutherford, was elected as its next president. His election was disputed, triggering a major major turnover of members over the next decade. 
Rutherford centralized organizational control of the Watchtower Society. In 1919, the Brooklyn headquarters appointed a director in each congregation, and a year, a year later, all members were instructed to report their preaching activity weekly. Significant changes in doctrine were made under Rutherford's leadership, including 1918 announcement that Jewish patriarchs, such as Abraham and Isaac, would be resurrected in 1925, marking the beginning of Christ out in your reign. Boy, isn't that something? Well, brother, if we're in Christ thousand year reign, I'm going to hate to see what that when heaven gets here. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, if this is a thousand year uh, reign of Christ. Yeah, I think she saw my wife where she was at over there. Yeah, I heard she went home. Yeah, yeah she just went by her. Yeah. By the way, we're talking about my lovely wife, Rosalinda Davis. Yeah. And I thank God for every day. <laughs> anyway, that... Uh, but you know what, brother, what gets me is, is they're saying that, that, that Christ was to come here invisibly. Invisibly. We're not even well, there. See, that proves that, that, that proves the doctrine of that church wrong. Because the fact is, that when Christ comes back, all will see. All will see. And they will, all men will go to their knees, right? Even the ones who pierced him. So where did they come up with this? Oh, man. And people believe this stuff. They follow this stuff.
come to an end. We ain't decided on that. Yeah. But uh, uh, she, this is Jehovah's Witness, and her words were this. Yeah, I'd like to try that out. I'm, I'm, I'm a very spiritual person. Spiritual. Yeah, you know how everybody's spiritual today? Oh, yeah, everybody's got a spirit in them. Whether it be good or evil, it's a spirit. Everybody's spiritual, man. Yeah, but you, know, he, but, you know, now it's gotten to where, brother, he, he, either you're a follower of Christ or you're not. Or you're not nothing. You know, a uh, true follower of Christ, you can find a true follower of Christ. Because we're going to believe exactly what this Bible tells us. Exactly. And we're going to listen to what the Holy Spirit guides us to do. And we're sure not sure. going to come you know, and And, brother, you know, I have had people tell me, you know what, you really need to get, you know, you get your get church started yourself. I don't. Christ already established the church. He already did. No. What I need to do is get out and warn people. Warn them. We're to the end. We, we are, are to the end. end. And and this is what he wants me to do is to warn. Now, to set a date and a time, I don't think so. <laughs> but it's That's like I tell people, why would I want to start another church? God knows we have enough churches in this world already. <laughs> oh, I forget, we did a count on that, and I can't remember what was the number we came out with, 500,000. No, it was, it, it, it was there one day, and I can't remember. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, it's just too many, too many. I think 25,000, no over 25,000 churches in Did, America. Our denomination. And that, but that's not counting your storefront churches, your mega churches and stuff that have all rose in the past 50 years. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's just so many of them. And everybody's got their own belief. You know, but if they were really true followers of Christ, we'd all be in one accord, wouldn't we? Amen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what gets me, Brother Darrell, is uh, mm -hmm. I was watching, uh, uh, you can learn. Now, it's only through the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit that lives in every believer. And I started to listen to this guy. And, and some of the stuff he's talking he's just talking about political stuff, you know, church and government, state and government, you know. And uh, he started telling us about all the wars we was in. And right now, right now, we're in America alone is in four different wars. Four different wars. And we said it was Libya, Yemen, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Amen. And it won't be long. It'll be Iran. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we'll be in with Russia. Yeah, Russia. Russia, believe it. Russia just went down. Yeah. I know a lot of people think that this is silly, but I'm telling you, folks, get this book. The old time of the end. It's got it all in it. It's got it all in it. It's all in here. And and everything is going, even even about the weather going anyway and stuff. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, it's in here. It's in here. Great. Uh, even the seismic activities in the world. It's all in here. Believe me. It's all in here. Because you know what? Because it's in the Bible. <laughs> yeah, it's in the Bible. And, and, and this point, too, it tells you what's happening today, exactly where to find it. It's in the Bible. Okay, brother. Uh, I think that's enough on the churches. Yeah, I mean, you know, we only picked on two of them. 